So today we're going to uh, talk about just the basics of wood veneering, all about wood veneers, how they're made, and how you use them, how you glue them down, just all the characteristics and just a very short overview here that will give you an idea of all about wood veneers. It starts out with the log, of course. Wood veneers are real wood. And here's a typical example of sheets that have been sliced from a log. They're about 10 inches wide in this case. Some logs are wider. You can look and see that these sheets repeat the pattern from one sheet to the next. And this allows us to take sheets directly from the log. And when we clip them straight, bring them back up next to each other. This is called a book match because just like the sheets of a book you open it up and every other sheet is flipped and we have machines that will splice and join these sheets. You do that successively and you get wider and wider sheet sizes. So that's where it begins. It begins with the log and then we join the sheets up. Um, we join these sheets up into typical 24 inch by 96 inch sizes or 4 foot by 8 foot, 48 inch by 96 sizes or are very typical on our website. Um, sometimes these sheets can go up to sizes that are even 5 feet wide and 12 feet long. Um, now there's uh, characteristics of how these sheets are sliced that causes us to apply names to them such as FC or flat cut, QC or quarter cut. This is an example of a flat cut grain here. It's got a lot of movement. Over on this portion of this sheet here you could actually call that a quarter cut type appearance because it's, the lines are so straight but that's a lot of nomenclature involved sometimes. Uh, we have a, a separate tutorial on that if you'd like to look at that. Now as I mentioned before, when we join our veneers together, it gives a book match pattern, and thereby we have a mirror image that uh, is applied across um, where the joint is. So that's kind of a short example of how we join our veneers. Now, um, we have a wood backed veneer and a paperbacked veneer on this website for you. Like I said, these sheets come in sizes all the way up to 4x8 typically, um, sometimes bigger. Now, the paperback veneers are about a 64th of an inch thick overall, and they have a paperback on them, and they're very flexible and thin. That's sometimes very useful to have a nice flexible veneer. Woodback veneers have a wood back on them. They're flexible as well, but nowhere near as flexible. They are about 3 64ths of an inch thick. And this is a wood veneer back on here. So there are advantages and disadvantages. The advantages to having a uh, paper back veneer are that they are thin, flexible, very easy to cut, very easy to work with. The advantages of having a wood back veneer are that they are thick enough to where they don't telegraph through defects from the surface and they're a little bit more stable and I actually like the wood back veneers best. Now each of these veneers can be purchased with a 3M peel and stick adhesive. It's an optional adhesive. Now you don't have to purchase them with it but it's a uh, an option and uh, when you use this 3M peel and stick adhesive you just peel the release paper and you stick the veneer down to any clean, painted, or varnished surface. You might want to check all of the tutorials on our website um, because we go into more depth. Um, all of these wood veneers are real wood. They sand like real wood. They finish like real wood. They stain like real wood. You do to these veneers just exactly what you could do to a normal wooden surface. Um, gluing is easy. Uh, you can glue with contact cement, which is available at your local hardware store, and a couple coats on each surface, and you allow it to dry between coats, and you stick these 
veneers down onto the substrate which also has contact cement on it once it's dry you stick it down and it bonds instantly upon contact the other way to glue wood veneers is with wood glue wood glue is a little messier um, but it's probably one of the best ways to glue wood veneers it does require that you sandwich the veneer to the substrate and apply pressure and allow the wood glue to dry overnight once again check our tutorials on the website you can check them out for the wood glue method the contact cement method and also we have a tutorial on the peel and stick veneers now to move on as I mentioned all of these veneers can be stained and finished the same way that you would stain and finish any wooden surface um, they can also be sanded we have tutorials on staining we have tutorials on finishing and I would urge you also to look at the video tutorial on whether or not you can easily sand through a wood veneer and you might be kinda surprised now these veneers can be cut with a razor blade or a scissors and even the wood veneers the 364th uh, wood back veneers can be easily cut you can see here it's not too hard to do this allows you to make exact trimming sometimes you can put your veneer on larger than the surface that you're going to veneer and you score around it with your razor blade and you can trim it to an exact fit also do that with the uh, proper router with the correct router bit as far as how to order your veneer it's pretty easy all you have to do is check the photographs the images the pictures on our website decide which wood type which species you want then next you decide the size usually it's going to be a two foot by eight foot or a four foot by eight foot size sometimes larger this is all this is all uh, in our software when you order it'll walk you right through the process step by step next you're going to decide whether you want the paper backed or the wood backed click the box for which item and then also you will decide whether or not you want the 3M optional peel and stick adhesive now you're never obligated you can abort your order at any time recommend that you check your shipping costs that will pop up on your screen as well that's it for today pretty easy to order veneers and to use veneers